Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to our Satisfactory 1.0 playthrough where we're having a grand old time now with more, one infinity percent more steel pipes than before, which is great. Uh, we just got Sam automated in the last episode, so now we have lots of the, what are these called? Reanimated Sam parts, which we can make the Sam fluctuators with, which allow us to make more dimensional depots. So all of this was kind of a spawn off of me just wanting to make the dimensional depot here for uh, modular frames. And that's why we're doing all this. And of course, obviously, you know, it will be helpful as we move into the future as well. But yeah, there we go. So now those will upload into the stockpile and now I won't need to carry around a big pile of the old MFs. Um, I will say though, I think I mentioned this, I, I do want to keep those around for the, whatchamacallit, the uh, versatile framework, I believe it's called. So I'll put them right here. It's not enough, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need 10 stacks of modular frames for that. So I don't even quite have enough. But the important thing is now I have steel beams. And so, I very quickly, you know, let's research uh, jump pads. I have all the resources. I just need more cables. Um, yeah, and I might do another Mercer Sphere hunt soon so that we can upgrade the stack size that the Dimensional Depots can hold. Um, right now, the stack size is only one, so if we look you know, we only have one stack of things. Having two stacks will be a big deal. And then also doubling the upload rate will be a big deal. I think I can afford one of those. Let's see. Each one is three Mercer spheres and 47 of the fluctuators. The fluctuators are pretty cheap. Uh, now that I have the Sam, the reanimated Sam and the pipes automated. So after a few minutes here, we should have enough pipes for both upgrades. But as far as the actual Mercer Spheres, I have seven. I'd like... So if I do two of those upgrades, I'll only have one left. Yeah, maybe I'll do both. That's fine. Um, what did I come back here for? Oh, the milestone. Right, right, right. Maybe I should try loading two at once. I've never done that. I've already done all of the tier three, so shall I, shall I get conveyor belts, uh, mark whatever this is, mark three, going. Uh, do I have very many ripperinos? I guess not. I'll have to come over here and find out. No, all right, rips are down here. The rips are here. I can just take from the outputs. Yeah. That's the other thing is the buffer will get bigger. By having another stack size, you know, then we have two stacks instead of one. Plus all the machine buffers. Because this needs 400 reinforced plates, which is a few more than I had buffered, unfortunately. And I think I put all the extra... <laughs> Reinforced plates I had down there in the in the thing. So I, I don't think I have any left in these boxes Yeah, that is correct Okay Fine, that's fine Everything's fine um, Let me put away all my doodads here and the circuit boards Yeah, I have two slugs. I can power shardify. Cool. Now... Oh, so I found out this was in between episodes. The coal power is not going to be a problem. I was worried that it was splitting power with the biomass burners, but it doesn't. So the biomass burners automatically throttle themselves to basically only provide what's needed, right? Which is very good. They're not just running full tilt all the time. And 
the coal power plants are running full tilt all the time. The, the coal power plants do not throttle themselves. And so because of that, the coal power plants essentially prioritize themselves above the uh, biomass burners. So the nice thing is we're only gonna use biofuel when it's needed. So you can see right now, our little orange consumption line is bumping up against the production line. And when it does, the biomass burners kick in. So this biofuel now is gonna last a long time because it's only showing up when it's needed. And right now my factory is just hovering around what the coal power plants produce. So we're, we're using very little biomass right now. It, as soon as we start adding more sections to the factory or we, you know, things are backed up right now. So if I were to take a bunch of stuff, it might uh, use a bit more power again for a bit. But, but at least we are not just, you know, using a ton of biofuel all the time anymore. Okay, and I might as well just restock on things while I'm down here. Let me grab the concrete. Two stacks feels good. A wire. Cables. I don't know, two stacks is fine for cable. And I think, yeah, I already have the sheeting for pipeline. I might do three of those because I feel like I'm gonna build a long pipe for whatever I do next for coal power. All right. Nice. What else do we need? Advanced steel production gets us the minor mark twos. That will be nice. Um, power towers and power storage, not super important. Hyper tubes, not super important right now. Um, and the blueprint designer, which is really interesting. I'm, I'm very interested to try that out. I've never used it before. So that could be cool. But, uh, for now, let's make some fluctuators. And see if we can get those depot upgrades. And then, yeah, I think I'll do another Mercer Sphere hunt, because I want to, I want to depot, I want to cloudify all of my... All of my things here. So let me go get the rest of the whatever this is called. Reanimated Sam. <laughs> Which couldn't quite. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Uh wasn't it a pure node? Did I screw this up? Oh shoot. Well now I gotta go check. Um I thought it was a pure Sam node. Is it just a normal? I've already forgotten, but I gotta go check, because if it's a pure node, it should be giving me the 120. And that means I built a Mark 1 belt somewhere that's slowing things down. But we'll find out. Um, it is a normal node, so everything's fine. I guess I should overclock it then. We get our 120 a minute done. on get up there no so it could be so frustrating the lock distance just isn't quite a, I feel like it used to be a little farther than it is kind of a pain now again I played three years ago so my rose-colored glasses might be pretty tinted maybe it's always been this difficult I feel like it used to be a little easier And the reason I say this is because I vaguely remember, and again, this could be like my brain making it up, but it, it feels like I remember Jace or Snut talking about nerfing the, the zipline a little bit at some point, and so that's why I'm saying this. And again, it could be that it's been this way for a while, because I haven't really played since Update 4. So it's very possible that it was a nerf that they did a while back. Um, oh yeah, this is my coal power plant. Why am I over here? I just ran in the wrong direction. Ooh, cool, 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 cool. Not paying attention. Uh, there's limestone down there. There's three limestones down here. Take those reinforced plates. 
And I want to make the explorer. Um, is there courts in this direction, or is it mostly like north and west? Wow. Nothing. Okay, northeast. Very far to the northeast. And then I want to say in my last playthrough I got quartz from over there somewhere. Holy crap. Maybe that was the one I used last time? Jeez. Okay. So this is not a good starting location for quartz. You are really... I mean, I guess this isn't insane to go that far. I might I might use the truck for that. I feel like, at least in two other playthroughs, Quartz has been the first thing I've used the truck for, and I believe that is what we're gonna be doing in this playthrough as well. I am happy to report, for those who haven't played this game in a long time, that they did fix the, the truck jank, so you can trust a truck. Uh, you couldn't trust trucks before. They could get stuck, they could get derailed, even though they're not on rails. Well, that was the problem. They weren't on rails, but now they sort of are. If they get a little jankified, they'll just fix themselves and like teleport around, even though obviously that's a little janky. It's better than not being able to trust your transportation routes. So now you can trust them. They will work. Once you've set it up, it will keep going. Nothing will break it, or at least nothing normal will break it. So that's good. Um, and I still need just a few more plates. And what else do we need? More fluctuators here. But yeah, I uh, my, I would usually be pretty careful about driving the truck route so that it wouldn't be jankified. Um, you know, but if you were too close to like corners or edges of foundations, they could get you know, stuck and fall off and stuff. But now, if that happens and they detect it, I don't know how they detect it, but it'll just kind of like pull itself back onto the, the rails that it's supposed to be following, the little waypoints. So that's good. All right, three Mercer Spheres and 47 Sand Fluctuators should get us to two stacks. Wow. You really have to find a lot of Mercer Spheres to upgrade these. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so now we can get two stacks of everything in the depot. increased to 200%. Refining manipulation of SAM allows us to now deconstruct non-living matter down to its atomic components in one dimension and store it in basic bound states in another. We do not resonate with the tribute song. Do not. do not worship at the window. Do not worship at the window. Desecrate our temple gifts. This shall serenade a sour insult. My intention was not to encroach, if that is what upsets you, nor was it to dispose of material I do not waste. Oh my gosh. Ada is having an argument with the alien voices. I love it. Um, so... I just thought a thought that I hadn't thought before, which is we can just use two depots. <laughs> do not worship to the windows. Do not worship to the walls. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, we could just build two, right? If I want more than two stacks of something, I could just do two dimensional depots and then I could have four stacks of that thing available. I think. Actually, wait, is that true? Maybe I can't do that. I forget if Snut talked about that or not. Can you do two depots of the same? Maybe you can't. Uh, so maybe I'm... I rescind my idea, I think. I am, I'm now thinking I can't do that. Okay, I have two things ready for launch now. Am I gonna get two milestones? Because I have the jump pads ready to go and I have Mark III ready to go. So we're gonna get both? Milestone reached. Improved storage containers and the conveyor belt Mark III provide the obviously necessary tools for improving your current setup. Production speed is of the essence after all. So work hard. Work so as work if every hard. person you have ever or will ever love is depending solely on the choices that you make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they are. Because they are. Warning. We do what we must psychologists because we are. recommend not dwelling on the crushing mental and physical strain of your responsibilities and simply continuing to be productive. 
Hard work has repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. Back to work. Work, work. Yeah, and that that I think that's how it works too, Gaming Strudel, now that I talked about it. So I think if we did two depots for the same item, it wouldn't actually give us more stacks of that item. It would just be two different places that you could put that item into the the cloud, so to speak. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't actually help. Okay, so we did that. I want to build the, the... That's what we're doing. I couldn't forget. I couldn't remember what I was doing. I kept forgetting. What I'd like to do is make the little uh, explorer vehicle. Just because it's fun. Probably, I, I feel like with Blade Runners and all the things we already have, it's actually more of a pain than a help to do the Explorer, but maybe maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe it'll be better than it used to be. Um, so to do the Explorer, I need 100 MFs and I need 10 Crystal Oscillators, which of course needs reinforced plates, so we can't quite do that yet. Um, so instead of doing that, I will make something. Uh, what do we need? What can an assembler make that we're not already making? Uh, rotors? Already making that? Yeah, I, I'm already making all of this. Except for versatile framework. Um, and that's just gonna require crap tons of steel. So nothing fancy there. Um... Yes. We're definitely going to want steel in a dimensional depot. And then... We need more coal power. And then I need quartz. Those are kind of the... Let's make some notes over here. Quartz. More power. Uh, no, let me spell that right. Sorry. More... There we go. Spelling is important. Uh, quartz, more power. I already forgot the things I just said. Dimensional, or we'll just call it double D, uh, for steel and uh, I think those are the main things. Okay. So the yeah, I just want the explorer, but I have to wait for a few more reinforced plates here. We're gonna need 50 total, so we're almost. I guess I could handcraft with you again. It's been a while. I forgot I could handcraft reinforced plates. It's funny once you automate something, you forget you can handcraft it too. I'm handcrafting all these other things, <laughs> but not the plates. And then the, what are they called? Crystal Oscillator. I might need more quartz, unfortunately. Oh, I don't need as many as I thought because these craft two at a time. Um, that being said, I might not have enough here. Did I just hear thunder? It sounded like thunder. Oh, that's what it is. It's the little drop pod coming back. Okay, I am short. Just a few quartz crystals here. There we go. So there's my 10. And then we need the MFs. <laughs> Thanks, Strudel. Appreciated. Oh, I need 100 MFs. Perfect. Good thing we have that stack size 2 on my Dimensional Depot. Alright, research the Explorer. It is going to tell me that I shouldn't crash it into things. Explorer unlocked. 
This personnel transport vehicle facilitates rapid traversal of difficult terrain and climbs like a mountain goat that has returned from extinction. Mountain goats are extinct in this world, we've now learned. Do I want any of these? Steel rods is pretty dope, um, just in the sense that you get 48 a minute out of a constructor. But it, I guess you're adding, are you adding an extra step? You're sort of adding an extra step, because steel is still only one step, but it's two inputs. So an extra input is kind of like an extra step, even though it's only one step of crafting. So you're still doing two ore to make four rods instead of two ore to make two rods. You are doubling your output, or you're using coal instead of iron, and coal is more rare than iron. So you're kind of exchanging one coal for three iron. Um, and yeah, there are alternate steel recipes, which are quite strong. I don't have any of those yet. Uh, as far as these recipes, the basic iron is fine, but I, I feel like I don't recall having tons of iron issues in the past anyway. I'm going to re-roll this one. Oh, automated miners. So you can throw those in the dimensional depots finally. I don't give a crap. Steamed copper sheets, however, is great. And I'm very happy about this. Um because you end up using, what, half as much? Yeah. So it gets you twice as much copper sheet just for the cost of water. I remember liking that one. Uh, I don't need it right now, but I, I do like that one. Copper alloy. Eee. Could be good. I'm going to rescan. Well, iron wire. I like that one. It, it basically lets you use iron in place of... Uh, copper. You lose a tiny bit of output, right? We get 9 instead of 10 wire. Um, and the, the output rate is slightly less, 22.5 instead of 30. But man, is it nice to be able to make stitched iron plates with iron wire. And you're still using way less, I think. Uh, I think you're using way less. Let's math it out. This would be six, uh, would be nine, plus three raw, so that's 12 iron to make a regular reinforced plate. So this would be 36 to make three. Uh, so there's 15, and then uh, another 10 is basically 25. 25 point something, maybe 25.4 iron instead of 36 iron. So yeah, that we only use about two-thirds of the iron to make stitched iron plates. And obviously if we have enough copper, we can use the copper wire, but iron wire is pretty awesome. I, I've always liked having that option. Um, what am I doing? Mercer Spheres? Explorer. Where do I build the Explorer? Do I just build it like out here? Yeah, that's... Oh, I need five motors. I have five motors. Hold on. Aha, this is why you go exploring for hard drives. We just have five motors right there. So I don't need to do the hard work. Because I think I would need... Yeah. I would need to make statters and then... You put rotors plus statters to make motors. So I should probably work on unlocking this. Since we're sitting here talking about it, but... But yeah, modular frames, motors, pipes, and five more crystal oscillators. Which needs more quartz crystals. Okay. I'll need enough to make six crystal oscillators. Now, I do have more... I set up a constructor down here. For uh, quartz crystals, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright. I'll just throw the rest in there. If I need silica, I'll have to make another trip to get quartz. That should get me what we need here. Beautiful.
And then we'll have the Explorer, which... Does it need fuel? I think everything needs fuel, right? It talked about needing fuel, so I assume it needs fuel. It's got some bright lights, bright headlights. Yep, doesn't drive. Okay. Wait, I can record this too? Oh! So I could, how big is the, the uh, Maybe I should use these instead of trucks, because these are way more all terrainy. So I could we'll we'll have to test it out. Um fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. I have no fuel. Let's grab some from here. Assume I can use solid biofuel. Yes. Which means I need more fuel for my chainsaw. 12 is not very much, but it's fine. Alright. Let's see, uh, let's see what this thing can do. Well, it gets stuck on a tree. Very whoa. Wow, it kinda turns like crazy when you're backing up. Which is accurate to what real life vehicles do if you were to turn them like that, but. Now, didn't this thing... Didn't this used to have a, a grappling hook? What happened to that? What happened, what happened to the grapple? Alright, so barring uh, interactions with tree... Oh, are we, like, straight up stuck? No, we're getting out of this. There we go. Barring interactions with trees... I don't know if the horn works. I haven't found out yet. <laughs> Yes! Established dominance. Okay, that's my new favorite achievement. Guys, does the horn work? Can you hear that? <laughs> Alright, now really, um, what we need is the ability to, uh, the ability to hold this while we're driving the Explorer. Because it actually ends up not being great for exploring when you're looking for certain stuff. Because you can't... You have to, like, constantly get out and be like, Is there a Mercer Sphere nearby? Speaking of, there is one nearby. Is this the one that we already made the... Uh, that we need the boom for? I feel like we already looked for this one. Yeah, yeah, that that's the same one. Okay. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do this. Go back up, please. Alright, where did I leave that stupid thing? Alright, so the Explorer is going to be a good way to get from point A to point B fairly quickly. I don't think it's actually going to be great for exploring. Because... Yeah, it's more fast than it is anything else. And it's a bit more all-terrain than the other ones, which is nice. So I could use this to go get quartz. I could see myself using this with a truck stop instead of an actual truck. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Let's do... Let me get steel, uh, dimensional depotized, and then I can build Mark III belts kind of wherever I want. I'm going to do that. And that way we can have launchers, which may or may not be that helpful. I think the parachute slows you down, whereas the jetpack doesn't slow your horizontal velocity. So I think we're going to end up finding that launchers don't really work till we have jetpacks, uh, but we'll test it out. I need 57, because I need one dimensional depot, which is 10, and 47 for the other upgrade. And that will use up all my Mercer spheres. And you set it on the truck waypoints. Uh, yeah, Fumbly, that's what I meant when I was talking about going and getting quartz with it. I meant, like, setting it up on a route. 
Like, we can just use it instead of a truck. And the nice thing about that is it's a bit more all-terrain, so we can potentially take a shorter path than the truck would. All right, there's 57. And I need the rest of my Mercer spheres. Oh, and I have hard drives. I might as well chuck one of those in here, too. So, alien technology. We're going to upgrade the rate to 30 a minute. Uh, correct, Fumbler. I have no trucks going yet. That's the first vehicle I made. Dimensional was that upload just now. speed increased. Part of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing for more parts to be transferred in a short time frame. Loop the veins. Use the flow. Make a curve out of a line. Your shallow mines create shallow solutions. Pretty ripples. Pretty ripples. Shallow mind? Pretty ripples? I certainly hope that wasn't meant to include me. <laughs> and Ada is not having it. Okay, so I need to store up a crap ton of, um, a crap ton of steel for the, whatever those are called, versatile frameworks. So I'm going to slowly do that. And half of them will go into the depot. Where we can build Mark III belts. And then once the depot's backed up, they'll all go into there. So that works out nicely. And... That's done. Then I need rotors and modular frames. And then we can finish this guy. Boom. Milestone reached. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. Miners can be directly upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Yep. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. Every <laughs> moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. Oh no! I will not show you the predictions, it would only demotivate you. Rude. Never tell me the odds, Han Solo says. Um, I would like to make some more shatter rebar, but unfortunately we don't have very much quartz left. So that's another big reason for quartz, is to have that going. Got that done. That's a really convenient to-do list, how it just kind of shows up on the side of your screen. Is it two to one? Yeah. There's our 200 rebar. And then how much quartz you got for me? 68. Yep. So shatter rebar, I only get 61. Just a simple 180 ticks here. I think we do about four ticks per second though. Yep, it's basically four. Might even be four and a half per second. So, shouldn't take too long. And then, what did I say we were gonna do? I know I said we were gonna go get quartz, but there was something else with exploration. Is I looking for more Mercer spheres, maybe? Probably. Now that I have faster uploading and two stacks, in the cloud, I feel like we can more effectively get some of the other items like concrete or something going. Um, I also just realized a better system. Um, hold on. I've seen the light. Don't worry. For those of you at home thinking, oh, you should have done it this way. Don't worry. I now, I now have... I now have seen the light. Okay, check this out. I always forget that storage containers in this game are pass-through because I rarely use uh, I rarely use that functionality. 
Ooh, rebar in the cloud. Now there's an idea. That's a different idea than what I'm doing. But this, this is the idea of right now. Ta-da! So now we have the benefits of both dimensional depot and large amounts of storage. So that way we don't need big buffers. And the footprint is basically the same. Hooray! Um, but yeah, I need more Mercer Spheres is what we're looking for right now, because I am all out. Uh, rebar in the cloud, I don't know if that works. Obviously, you can, like, take it out of the cloud to your inventory once in a while when you need it. So, it's a decent idea once I can get manufacturers to automate shatter rebar. At this point, there's not... See, again, why are certain things green sometimes? The explorer's green, and I'm green right now. There was another time where the geothermal thing was green. There was another time where the space elevator was green. I don't understand what green means. Uh, yeah, but let's uh, let's go explore some of this stuff. Which is what? Northwest? We kind of went around the, the beach last time. I explored Paradise Island, which now all of this um, is buildable and such. So you could build stuff over there, but there's literally nothing. There's nothing there. So that's weird. Oh yeah, I wanted to test the Mark III uh, launcher system. So let's see. Mark III zooms pretty fast, right? Um, but but will we lose all of that extra speed when we deploy the jetpack? And I think the answer is yes. Unfortunately. I don't think we we maintain that. Okay, so I need to go up on top of that hill. Do I have everything we need? Uh, I guess I'm missing much fuel for the chainsaw, but that's fine. And I think Quartz is in this direction somewhere. I could always grab some of that and bring it back. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not for a while. Oh. Can grab a little bit. <laughs> I did say quartz was in this direction. I didn't say how much. So that was technically correct. <laughs> quartz was only about five meters away when I said that. Um, there was the summer sloop there. I already grabbed that. I should turn on my flashlight. Okay, that's a little higher up than I felt like it was when I was further back. Ready you. Another reason. Oh, I've been playing for two hours. Those are rookie numbers. Uh, another reason it's worth taking out the hogs is because of those DNA, those alien DNA points. It ends up being worth a good percentage of a coupon for the awesome store. Go up here first. I go through the things. Where's the slug? Okay, not very close. I think it's funny you can specifically hunt for like pale berries. Who's gonna go on a pale berry hunt? Like, oh man, you know what I need more of? Pale berries. I know it's technically possible that you might need such things, but. What's up here? I'm gonna guess it's a yellow power slug. And this may or may not end with me actually landing it. Looks like we can land over here. Yeah. Um, you know what I might do is just, just zoop up the ladder here. This used to be a lot more work to do to make a ladder, but it's far more doable than it used to be. Whoa. I did not mean to activate the jetpack. The jetpack? The parachute. Uh, what is up here? Anything? 
No slugs. No spheres. No summer sloop. Wow, that's lame. There is a summer sloop down here, though. I will grab that one. And I've already gotten that hard drive over there, I'm pretty sure. But I will take another summer sloop. That's free power or free production. One of the two. And if we combine them, it's free power and free production because the power from the one summer sloop machine can make production for the other. Now, I don't, if I have been here, I should have done a stamp and I didn't. Oh, I haven't been here, sweet. New hard drive. Um, some free pipe, free rotors, sure. Not really that valuable for me, but I'll take it. And then we alt, right mouse button, stamp. The reason I want to stamp my completed ones is then it just makes it easier to know. Like if I spot one from a distance, like have I been to that one before? Have I not? So that helps. Um, okay, so I went up there. I went up there. But we kind of need to go back up there and then to the west. Mercer spheres nearby, either. Okay, I want to reorder my inventory here. I want that one to be next to that one. And then, where did I? Did I build the power pole? Get up there. Was it around this way? Where did I do that? Oh yeah, I think it was over there. Ma'am, analysis complete. Thank you, ma'am. What'd we get? Bolted frame? Oh, that one's... Is that amazing or terrible? I'm not sure. It uses 56... Oh, it's kind of... Kind of both. It uses 56 screws instead of 12 rods, which is pretty close in cost. The screws are a little more expensive, uh, but it makes five per minute instead of two per minute. So it produces them two and a half times as fast. So you need way less assemblers. And if you're using something like summer sloops, you would need less summer sloops for more total output of frames. Like if you overclocked, one of these guys to full, it'd be 12 and a half a minute, right? Now you would need a, a lot of uh, screws coming in, but you would need, like, you already need about 120 screws a minute just with the base speed of this. But anyway, uh, bolted frame is interesting. Is it worth taking or is it better to re- Ah, let's roll the dice. Ah, cast screws. Cast screws is good. Eskers is stupid good. Oh, this is one of those strictly better recipes that I was talking about. It's faster and it saves you an entire step. What's not to love? I mean, screws. Screws are terrible, but... It feels like that should make like 18 screws or something. You know, just a little bit less so you feel a little less like, oh, this is just... Hardcore better, but yeah, that's just better and you can stick the hard drive in and then deconstruct the ma'am And it'll keep researching at least if they didn't change that so We'll go back up here if I can find where my little connections are Eek. I don't need to go all the way to the top. We can just go over here. Oh, there's a purple slug. I see it up there. Purple slug is nice. But, uh... Any spheres or sloops? No, no, no. 
None of that. There's a slug over here of some form. Wait, where'd it go? It must be underneath me. Yeah, because it's this direction, and then it disappears. So there's a slug underneath me. Interesting. Probably not worth hunting. Uh, it's probably in here. Somewhere. Yep, there it is. Yellow slug. Alright, well, we'll get some alien remains. Whoa, did I just shoot his projectile? What just happened? I actually don't know what happened there. I don't think it was anything that cool, but it, something happened. Alright. Grab the slug. How many power shards do I have these? I already have 25. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting to that point where I can start to deprioritize a little bit. But it is so nice to be able to just use them without feeling like you're running out. So I do like that. Um, just one shot that guy. Wow, you got cast screws as your first hard drive. That's awesome. Yeah, cast screws is pretty dang good. It's it's one of those where, like I was saying, like it's strictly better. It, I I can't think of a single reason why you wouldn't use cast screws because it's faster and it saves you having to make rods in the first place, and it's just the same amount of material efficiency, so it doesn't cost you anything to use it. So it's not so much an alternate recipe as just an upgraded recipe. Uh, that one does feel a bit overpowered to me. I personally like that um, some of the alternate recipes are like really good. Um, some people really don't like it because then they're not really alternate recipes. They're more like, like I said, like upgraded recipes. I like some of them being upgrades. Some people don't. Because I like things like productivity modules in Factorio and just, you know, the summer sloops now being able to add productivity. Like, I like being able to get more bang for my buck. And so it feels rewarding when your exploration can actually unlock kind of a better potential late game factory. Whereas if they were just alternates, they always feel a little bit like, oh, well, the hard drives are nice, but they only unlock options. They don't really unlock anything better. Um, now the purple slug is somewhere. I don't remember where exactly it is. What am I doing? I'm trying to build a little foundation on the side of this thing so that I can build a power pole on the edge. And then come down here. Zip line our way to the top. Hopefully find the purple slug. What about a summer sloop or a mercer sphere? Uh, there is a sphere on the scanner, but it's like way over there. Slug on the other hand is close by. Like right here. There it is. That's the one we saw. Nice. And there's a hard drive down there. Well, and a slug. I guess that's worth it. Off we go. I guess first I should check if there's any slugs like right along the edge here. Uh, none that I can see. Any, any slugs? Any slugs at all. Calling all slugs. Doesn't look like there's any more. What is that, though? Is that just iron ore? Just chilling here? The least valuable resource? Yes, that is iron ore. That's funny. Alright, well, we'll grab this slug. And... 
we will not die. Something is attacking me. You? And you. Oh, that feels so good. Uh, yeah, uh, AL93, I agree with both of those comments. I personally am the guy, or I'm one of the guys, he's the guy. Uh, I'm one of the people that likes to avoid screws altogether. I prefer using, I mean, I already got the stitched reinforced plate recipe, so my reinforced plates don't need screws. Um, so I need 60 megawatts. Okay, well, we'll get some biomass over here. Um, and I also really value the steel screws as well. Um, but at least for the early game, like, you don't get steel screws for a while. So at least for the early game, cast screws is very nice. Ouch. These dudes are fast. But... Explosive, or what? what's it called? Not explosive rebar. Uh, shatter rebar is pretty dang good. Yeah, I'll take some free stuff. Steel beams. Ooh, encased industrial beams. Okay, so I need two biomass burners. And power pole. And we hook that up. And then I feed it with six. Six on. Excuse me. You guys not know what 60 means? 30 plus 30 is 60. Is it not? They're both hooked up. Oh, you have to pull the... F now that's weird. If you pull the fuse of a specific power plant, it doesn't pull the fuse for all power plants on that uh, circuit? I thought it did. That's weird. That could explain some of the weirdnesses I've encountered so far. Apparently you have to pull the fuse from the power poles, not from the, the power plants. Alright, cool. So that is alt, right mouse click, stamp. Sweet. Okay, so now I've explored this whole zone. Let's go across the river here. And... For now, I'll equip some food. What do we got? Mercer Sphere. No summer slips. Okay. Let's find this sphere. It's probably up. But, I don't know. It could be under. Yeah, that's what I thought, AL93. But it's possible that when you... Oh, here it is. Protected by spiders. It's possible that when you pull the fuse um, on a power plant selected that it like turns that one on first compared to the other ones. And so that, you know, I was just at the exact 60 needed. So maybe one turned on and then turned off and then the other one turned on and then turned off. I don't know. It was either a bug or some amount of maybe like non-desired behavior, but it's not a big deal. We watch the waves of the effigies and the shallows passing through the windows, and they're all the same. There is no residence growth. Sing. Sing. I just called the fix-it doctors. They told me there is definitely no danger from repeat exposure to these signals. In fact, they said it is good for you. I apologize, but the call dropped suddenly, otherwise they would have told you themselves. Mm, the sus. good news is you should run towards these strange and dangerous looking objects whenever you find them. Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. A summer sloop a day keeps the doctor away? Is that what you're telling me, Ada? I think that's what Ada's telling me. Um, let's 
do I can never find foundations when I'm looking for me even though there's a giant button called foundations you'd think that would be enough you would think oh that's like more in the wall than I intended that's fine I just need to get up here oh hello mr. hog just waiting for me uh, what do we got? More spheres? Ooh, there's a sphere somewhere around here. And a sloop. Sloop de whoop is in that direction. The sphere is in this... I'll get the sphere first. It's closer. Uh, sphere is probably up here. You seem to get up. Uh, does the map look bigger? Not really. I don't think it is any bigger. Um, there is this area. I think they expanded their kill border a little bit so you can get more of Paradise Island, but there's nothing on Paradise Island. Oh no, Templar. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously this isn't like a spoiler free. Uh, how could you do a spoiler free playthrough? I don't even know what I'm talking about. You might see spoilers. We're not that late into the game, but we are collecting the alien objects and there will be... I don't think it's like a main story thing. Those are, I think those are more for flavor. The main story stuff, I'm sure only happens as you actually like build the the late game stuff. Um, okay, where is this thing? It was a sphere, right? Yeah, it's probably just top middle up here. Um, there we go. All right. Oh, is that going to be high enough? I guess we'll find out. Yes. And it gives you that little, oh my. There are some angry locals here at the top of this. Blending in, I can't see them. Their camouflage is actually surprisingly good. Um, no. okay, you're dead. You're not. Where is the other one? There it is. Behind a bush. All right, let's eat some bacon. Mercer Sphere for me. Cool. And, ooh, there's another one in the distance over there. And where was the sloop? The sloop is over there. Okay, let's go... Fly a kite. Um, where am I on the map? Yeah, let's go that way first. I think I can make it. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Ooh, we almost made it. Oh, good. We got the boost. Okay. If you if you can hit a little slope, it'll get you the rest of the way. Okay, the Mercer Sphere is very close. Like right up here. Probably with an enemy. I should just be ready for that. Uh, anything? Yep, yep. There we go. You know, I could probably just stand on top of it and not get hit. Witness a single strike of the Perfect. And then the sloop is this way. Maybe make it onto this corner. Oh yeah. Got it. Never didn't never didn't have it. There's two alpha hogs up here. Cool. cool. Uh, okay. The summer sloop is not tall enough to protect. I'm gonna play Matador here. Try to get him to run off the edge. Oh my god. These are different. These are different animals. 
These are like super alpha hogs. They have a different kind of like... Oh, they're throwing stuff at me? Oh yeah, these are definitely different. Ouch. Okay, you're dead. No, you're not dead. That just stunned him. Wow, they're fast. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Are you dead? Yeah, that one's finally dead. Give me five. Five hog remains. Perfect. This is a mega hog. I shall dub you. No! Haha! <laughs> Get wrecked. I have a parachute. You can't shove me off the edge. Okay, so hiding behind a tree seems like the, the proper method here. Okay, you're good. Jeez. Wow, that was intense. I'm down to 20 ammo. Alright, what else? We got any more goodies? Uh, I should eat some food here. I haven't... Uh, ever... I know people are gonna shout at me. I've never domesticated a lizard doggo. So you can all hate me now. But, I just haven't done it. Not because I don't want to, but... I don't feel like I find them very often, and then I just haven't gone through the process. Um, I think if I'm over there, I might be able to go across. Are there any... There's a sphere over there somewhere, and no more sloops, but... Wasn't there a sphere over here? Did I make that up? There's something over here. Just zip line across here and see what's up. Oh, there's a yellow slug down there. Okay. What's at the top? Mercer sphere. Perfect. And enemies that I'm gonna try to ignore. Okay, got it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Grab the slug. Perfect. And then... Hop back up here. Go across. Nice. I see a purple slug. We're gonna go get that. Wow, this has been a great exploration. We have gotten all sorts of goodies. What do I even have right now? Four Mercer Spheres, two Summer Sloops, two Purple Slugs, and a few other slugs. Lots of, what do I have, 18 Hog Remains? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Um, all right, I would like another Mercer Sphere or two before we head back, so it looks like I need to keep going that way. Um, having the elevation is nice, so let's get that going. Alright, Mercer Sphere, this direction. Also a slug this direction. Slug might be down. Oh, there's a yellow slug over there. Might as well grab it. Yeah, eventually my map just becomes dotted with zip lines and all the all the places you want to travel. It's pretty useful, actually. And it's kind of a fun way to see where you've been as well. Oh, I see it. It's just right here. It's just right here in this little tree. Or bones? This is not... I guess if it's a tree, it's a weird looking tree. Like, that one didn't have a shell. It's like this the was the shell. The most creates bodies in their waves that does not notice the shore. Is our melody not beautiful? Detecting abnormal brainwave activity oh, again. Beautiful. Activating artificial brainwave resonator. Your shell of song has no rhythm. 
The river wets our temples without prayers and washes away our scripture without deepening. Consume. I believe this is one of those moments where the scientist would yell, Eureka, but that seems entirely too dramatic. It seems they are somehow organically emulating human speech. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Continue exposing yourself to alien artifacts. <laughs> just gonna have a nice long pause there, Ada. Continue exposing yourself. Killed it before it spat little bugs at me. Whoa. Alright, how many do we have? Still only six? It's only enough for six more dimensional depots. Yeah, Mercer Sphere hunting takes a lot of a lot of energy. I I feel like uh, my initial impression is that I like the Dimensional Depot thing. But if I were to do another run, I am not going to want to hunt for... I don't know. Like, I don't feel like they should be infinite and super easy to get. But they're kind of hard to get. And so that makes it really costly. And when it's such a core... Um, what am I trying to say? Like, it's such an integral part of your factory to have the items in the Dimensional Depot. It's gonna be really annoying in future playthroughs to, like, have to go Mercer Sphere hunting for the 40 or 50 Mercer Spheres I need to get all my building materials set up properly. Um, so, it does feel a little bit like it'll be fun the first time and less fun after that. That's my initial impression. Like, I'm enjoying it now. I feel like I would enjoy it less if I were to restart. <laughs> can you pet the giant doggos? Um, I mean, you can shoot them with rebar. Is that close enough? It's basically the same thing. A high, it's a high velocity petting, which may or may not leave their carapace intact. All right, I think I'm I'm ready to head back home now. High velocity pets. They're aliens, so they might like it. I would agree with you, except for the part where they cease to exist. <laughs> that that might imply less of the liking. But yeah, you never know. It's down there. Probably another Mercer Sphere? Actually, no, there's no Mercer Sphere on... on scans. Another hard drive? Is there quartz down here? No, it's a different... different area, I guess. Oh, there's a Mercer Sphere somewhere in the distance. Actually, is this like a cave? Maybe one up here. Ooh, spooky! Spooky, scary skeletons. Nice. Nice. Got rewarded for going into a cave. I always like that. Now I've got seven. That's a, that's a decent amount. That's enough for iron plates, um, concrete, and See, the problem is I want to do all my resources because you need all of them, like cable, cable, wire, iron plate, concrete. Screws are a little less necessary. <gasps> there you are. I pet you. I pet you. High velocity petting. It's fine. I know I'm supposed to have pale berries for you. Here. Here. Take a take a berry, my dude. How do you do this again? 
Do I have to wait until he stops running? I actually don't even know the mechanic. Okay, here. Do I have to drop one? Uh, how do I split? Control right click? Hold right click. Oh, you can't split from your hands. Hey dude, I got something for you. <gasps> come on, you know you want it. Oh, no, come back. Come back. Come back, little doggo. I won't move. I won't move. I love you. Yay! Doggo with long name -o. Ooh, this is the perfect time to bring in the Patreon name randomizer, which I haven't haven't been naming my buildings yet because I haven't really finished buildings, but uh Alright, let me get the randomizer done and I will copy that so we have it ready to go. Satisfactory. Alright, Glim! Glim is the big winner. Glim Doggo, you are the first, first lizard doggo. You haven't seen him since. Yeah, is he just gonna like, I don't know what happens at this point. But we have, we have a tamed doggo. That's the important part. That's what really matters. What all do we need to make the inhalers? I have so many nuts at this point. Can I make a bunch of inhalers with that? Uh, yes, I can. I only need one alien remains per inhaler, so at this point I can make a lot. All right, cool. So put away this stuff. Did the hard drive finish? Let's go find out. Uh, power slugs, I should just do that now, because I don't think they have another use. Wow. We have a lot of power shards now. What is that going to be? 45 power shards? Nice. That's a lot. They go pretty fast when you start planning to use them, but when you're just using them sparingly, that's a lot. Um, steel rotors and Caterium wire. Okay, Caterium wire is nice if you're short on copper, otherwise it's not that great. We talked about that one in a previous episode. Rotors, however, this is interesting. Steel rotors. So... Six wire is only three copper ingots or three iron ingots because I have iron wire now. So that's a lot better than 25 screws and it's a higher rate. We get five a minute instead of four a minute. So we're really comparing two steel pipes to five iron rods. Steel pipes are about twice the price of iron rods because um, of... Uh, about three times the price. Because we're talking six ore, half of it being coal, to make two steel pipes instead of six iron rods. So, honestly, I think this is a pretty decent uh, recipe. Obviously, steel is annoying comparatively. Um... Twenty per minute... So let's compare if I had like one assembler making rotors with each one. I would need 20 iron rods a minute, which would be one constructor worth making iron rods. If I'm doing it this way, I would be making five a minute. I would need 10 steel pipes a minute. So I would only need half of a constructor running on steel pipes. So one constructor making steel pipes could handle two assemblers making steel rotors rather than one constructor couldn't even handle the amount of iron rods 
So you lose out by needing a foundry instead, I guess. But even then, a foundry's 45 a minute compared to a smelter's 30. I think I think I like that. We're gonna go with that. Um, and start another scan. Okay, and what else am I doing? Uh, the, 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 the. I didn't do anything with quartz. Right. Still need to do that. But I think I'm ready to make a bunch more dimensional depots. So let me grab those mercy... Mercy spheres. And we need to make some more fluctuators, which requires more pipes, which I have. We'll make some more sand fluctuators. Ten per depot. And then we'll depot a few more resources. I think... What's going to be best? What do I use very frequently? Definitely concrete. Depoting concrete is going to be really handy. Probably cable. Concrete and cable are for sure. And start with those two. I could see doing wire, but I feel like since it stacks to 500 and you don't tend to use it for most buildings, just carrying around one stack is plenty. So maybe, maybe I'm underestimating that, but that one doesn't feel as necessary. Um, But yeah, we'll get cable in the old double D there. And then I can ditch cable in my inventory. Copper sheet? Oh, copper sheet. Yeah, that's an obvious one for building pipes. Um, so that's for sure a thing. Yeah, fumbler, no mixed belts in the depots. Because if you were to do a sushi belt, it would back up on one certain resource and then it wouldn't, you wouldn't have enough of that. Okay, and then we're going to do one for concrete, which I am getting concrete from multiple places. I guess the concrete over there is just going to be rip in pepperonis. I probably don't need it. It's fine. So there's concrete. Beautiful. Nice. And then... rods and then maybe plates and then I'll have two mercer spheres left yeah but I do need more of these things and we'll probably call it an episode after this because this is becoming a long episode most of them are <laughs> like I said at the beginning of the series I think this is going to be a longer episode series than normal I feel like you need a lot of time to get stuff done in Satisfactory, and that's okay. Alright, make some more fluctuators. Chainsaw fuel in there? Wait, what did I put chainsaw fuel in? Uh-oh. I don't know what I did. And where was I going? Plates? I was just talking about not needing wire, and here we are needing wire. Apparently, dimensional depots cost 100 wire. <laughs> so, maybe I carry two stacks, or three. Oh, oh, I could put fuel in the depot, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's a thing I could do. I could put biomass in the depot or something. I don't know... That hasn't really been something I care that much about yet. So, at least for now, I might not. But the other thing is having the depots for the things that are depoted means I can clear out my inventory like this. Um, of stuff that's depoted, and then that leaves more inventory space for everything else, right? So it's kind of a double double whammy. 
I'm just gonna chuck all that in the awesome shredder. Oh, you know what we can do is Mark three. Mark three, the shredding. There we go. There's those 270 items a minute. Got seven coupons available. You can repurpose them later. Um, yeah, I want to say there's something you can do with biofuel. I can't remember exactly what, but uh, it's been a while. All right, what other? We're pretty close to finishing. Oh, it didn't launch both. Interesting. Okay, so that might have been a bug that they fixed. You can only launch one Milestone thing at a time because I had the put in the resources for both. Combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and you an ideal travel experience. You blow the engines on your little pod. No. Clarification. Ideal travel not experience that I not guaranteed. Individual you never results know. may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. All right, so this is one we'll do next. I need 200 steel, 100 MFs, and 500 cable, and 1,000 concrete. The things I just got rid of. Classic. But I can get the 1,000 concrete easily enough. I'm getting 30 a minute for the cable, so I might need to grab a little bit. That should be enough. And yeah, I think we'll call it an episode there. We've made some more good progress on dimensional depoting as well as... Well, what else did we do? I guess we got the steel, right? Was that in this episode or was that in the last episode? I've, I've lost track. We did a lot of exploration. I know that much. So lots of Sam. Lots of Sam has been accomplished. But uh, yeah, for those of you watching this in the future, as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.